guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm Primetime Phil, and today we're gonna to talk about the safety position, or the not so safety position. If I was to ask you the question, what's the last great safety that played for the Dallas Cowboys, who would you pick? Would it be Roy Williams, a guy that could hit but couldn't cover? Would it be Darren Woodson, a guy that came from the last Super Bowl era? Would it be a guy like Barry Church? Not very many people would jump on that bandwagon. I would say yes, but it's comparable to what we've had since Barry Church. Right now, Dallas doesn't have that guy on the roster. Only one year deals, which if they do prove it, expecting a bigger contract, which Dallas will not be able to do. They're really relying on the formula of drafting a guy and bringing him in and hoping that he's a star, that you can pay him cheap for a four year deal. But the problem with that is that they haven't done that. That's been their formula for the past 15 years and nobody's come through and just wowed us. Nobody's sat there and made jersey sales just pop at the safety position. Right now you have a guy like Keanu O'Neal, but he's moving to the linebacker position. He's not gonna be at the safety position. Kazee that just came over from Atlanta, I think he's gonna be your starter just because he's coming from a Dan Quinn defense. This safety hole position is not what it used to be for the Dallas Cowboys where they had two guys back there. You're probably just gonna have one dude back there and it may be Nishan Wright, a guy that they drafted in the third round which was a very controversial pick. Even I was like, you could pick him at the sixth or seventh round. Looking back at his college career, even though he was that cornerback, a lot of his interceptions came when he was roaming around like a free safety. Let's look at what Mel Kuyper had to say about him when he was drafted this year by the Dallas Cowboys. Just loading up on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, Deshaun Wright has the ability. Athletically, you look at the ability size-wise, and that's what you're looking at, Lou, as a former defensive back. If you can have that type of physicality in the Pac-12 at that level, and this Oregon State program has supplied the NFL with some good football players, decent to good ball skills. You notice that at Oregon State during his career, and the ability to get into that backfield, to do what you need to do on the blitz, on that corner blitz, and get after quarterback. That's Davis Mills. He's stripping the football from the Stanford quarterback. Deshaun Wright. I thought I created him as a fifth, sixth rounder. It's a little rich for me, but they obviously saw a lot they liked Dallas so far. Obviously, that emphasis on improving the defense. Unfortunately, we're in a situation where we have to wait a year or two before we see if we have a star in the position, which has honestly been a Dallas Cowboys strategy for quite some time now. Even when you had stars like Earl Thomas or Jamal Adams that wanted to go to Dallas, you couldn't make that work. Dallas couldn't bring those guys in. I know me as a fan. I'm urging for a safety. I want somebody to get excited about. Somebody that I know is protecting that backside and is not going to get beat deep and is not afraid to come up and lay a boom on somebody. But now that you have somebody like Dan Quinn, you're hoping that he will bring somebody in that can do that. I know I'm excited to see where does that come from and I know that eventually here in the next year or so, it will be a role that will be satisfied. So that's going to be it for this week, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you comment below. Let me know who you think the last great safety was that played for the Dallas Cowboys. And what do you think about the safety position now? Do you think it's something that's been taken care of? Do you think it's somebody from the roster now? Or do you think it's somebody that's in the future that we don't know that could be already a star in the NFL or could be a star? Let me know what you guys think. But thank you for tuning in. This is Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm Primetime Phil. And don't forget to ring that bell.